some of her family and they're helping me collect animals that we found on the beach today at low tide. They've been in my collection tank for a little while and people have enjoyed them, but now we get to put them back in the wild and I thought I would show some of the things that we found today. So what do we have first? So these sea stars are really, really cool. You'll see them all over the beach, especially at low tide when they're out hunting. They're a carnivorous predator out there. What do you know is cool about the sea stars? On the bottom of sea stars, they have small suction cups all on their arms, and it helps them to get around in the sand in the bottom of the ocean. Very cool. Do you have any questions about the sea star? Yes. How does a sea star eat? So sea stars have a very unique way of eating their prey. They'll crawl over on top of it, and part of their stomach will come out, wrap around what they're eating, and they'll start to digest it outside of their body as they suck in the nutrients they need. If you look really close on sea stars, they have photosensitive cells on the end of each one of their arms. Different sea stars have different number of arms, and they are regenerative. That means they can grow their arms back after they fall off. Will you want to go put him back? All right. I'm with this is Brynn and she's going to help us learn about the coquina shells the real little guys that you'll see running away from the water and the sand you want to get a couple out to show so you'll find these all over the beach and they're the little shells a lot of times people call them butterfly shells because they when they die they'll open up completely and they look like butterfly wings but here they are still alive so what do you want to tell us about them um sometimes if Exactly, so they're filter feeders. So they have these little tubes that are called a bivalve mollusk. So they take in dirty water and they breathe out clean water. So every breath they take is makes the world a better place. Um, and we found these all over. So you want to put some back in the water? Uh, sure. Cool. Do you have any questions about them? Yeah. How do, how, do they how do they eat? Well, you kind of just answered it. When they're cleaning the water and filter feeding, they take in the dirty water and the dirt they use for their food and then they spit out the clean water. So when they do that, that's how they're eating. That's cool. Yeah. Very cool. All right, you want to put a couple back in the water? Yeah. Awesome. We have Claire with a really cool animal that she's found. You want to get it out for me? Cool. A lightning rock sea snake. So what is it? It's a lightning rock sea snail and it can grow up to 8 to 12 inches. Very cool. So these sea snails, you'll find them all over the beach. And you can tell they're still alive if they have this hard spot. Oh, he spurted at you. They have a hard spot right there covering where their muscle would be. And that hard spot really does protect them. And if you get too close or mess with them, they'll squirt you with water, just like he did. So these sea snails, they're a predator. And what they'll do is they're gonna go out looking for bivalve mollusks and other clams and oysters. They'll grab them and wrap around them and they'll suck the, the muscle right out of the shell. Um, so these guys are pretty aggressive for a snail. Awesome. And like she said, they can grow 8 to 12 inches. So this is a good sized sea snail that you can find. Cool. Do you have anything else to say or add? Or you just want to let it go? All right, we're going to put him back in. So put him back in right after the waves. What we have is a sand dollar. And a lot of people find these all over the beach. What would you like to tell us about them, girls? Um, the first thing is that if they have a fuzz on the bottom of them like this, that they are still alive, so you can't take them. So it's about a $400 to $500 fine for taking an organism off of a Florida beach. And these sand dollars are very easy to tell if they're alive because if they have these spines, they're in the same family as urchins and sand dollar, uh, sea stars. If you look close, you can see them all moving. You can see them moving. So I made a rhyme. If they have hair, leave them there. Even though it's not real hair, that's a good rhyme to learn because that's how you tell if they're alive. If they're white or if they're hairless, they're probably not alive anymore, and then you can take them. So what else do we know about these guys? That they have a star 
their jaw. Inside their body, they'll intake sand through a little hole right in the middle. And they will chomp down on the sand, filter feeding and cleaning each and every little piece of sand. When they are done with it, they poop it out the back. Nice, clean, clear sand. And they, just like the bivalve mollusks, mollusks, yeah, every bite they take, they help make the world a cleaner, better place. So we're gonna put this guy back. When you put a sand dollar back, you wanna make sure it is face flat down and the curved part is up. They cannot flip themselves back over. Even putting a little sand on top of them would help a little bit. Do you wanna put it back? Yes, what would you like to say? Um, you have to keep the sand dollars in the water because if you leave them on the beach, they will turn white. Yep, and if they find you trying to do that, taking them out and turning them white on purpose, you're going to get in some big trouble. So we want to make sure we're only taking right. animals that are no longer alive. So what kind of shells do you have there? Huh? So you have more coquinas. What else do you have? Um, I have this little shell. That is a slipper snail shell. <gasps> oh, you dropped your rock. A little rock. And the shell. And a scallop shell, a clam shell. Very cool. What else you got? Yeah, and even though their jaw, jaws are very cool, you don't want to take them out because they kind of need it to live. Right. Cool. Like this 